Okay, so you want to freeze rows and columns in your Microsoft Excel worksheet. You might want to do this for one row or one column or multiple rows and or columns. Now, the basic thing you need to understand here is that you only need to select one cell to achieve this. And that cell must be beneath the rows you want to freeze and to the right of the columns you want to freeze. So for example, if I wanted to freeze the first three rows in this sheet, I would need to select a cell beneath those rows in row four. And if I wanted to freeze the first two columns, I would need to select a cell in the column immediately to the right of those columns. So to make this more obvious, I'm just gonna color code the columns I want to freeze and the rows I want to freeze. So I want to freeze columns A and B and rows one, two, three. Now the cell I select is this cell here at the junction point of the rows and the columns that I want to freeze. I'll just make that obvious by color coding it. Then all I have to do once I've selected that cell is to go to the view tab on the ribbon, go to freeze panes and freeze panes. So now if I scroll up and down, you can see those first three rows remain on the screen. And if I scroll to the right and the left, you can see that those two columns remain on the screen. Now I also want to show you how to freeze your column headings within your data. So this works in a slightly different way to the first method. What you'd first have to do is click anywhere in your data and then go to insert on your ribbon and then to table. This little dialog box is just confirming the range of cells that you want to include in your table and it will select up to an empty column and row. It also asks whether you already have headers in your table, and we do, so we'll keep that ticked. Now I'll click on OK, and it applies this styling to your data. But if I scroll down my table, you can see that the column headings replace the letters across the top of your worksheet. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.